gaslighting. And what they do is they make you doubt yourself. That's what gaslighting means, right? Uh, they, they do it in different ways, okay? These are some of the ways that they do it. They deny their actions. They accuse you of lying and they twist reality. Yes, those are the three things that they do besides others, but it's all basically around those three techniques, so to speak. So they really make you feel like you're crazy. And I do remember in my personal experience when I was with a narcissist, I did think I was crazy because, but I had better memory because he was much older. <laughs> so I had better memory than him. So whenever they denied their actions, I'd be like, hey, I got receipts. Love bombing a narc's weapon. Oh yes, it is a big weapon that they have. Early relationships, they start giving you compliments and affection and they just overdo it. Hard, okay? So the love bombing is a big, big red flag, okay? Again, two months after I met this person, he was a narcissistic abuser. He was like, oh, you're the love of my life. I want to marry you. And of course I was younger and I was like, well, maybe that's possible, right? Love at first sight, why not? Like she would yell at me and beat me up for stupid shit. And then she would come in my room and be like, I'm so sorry, I love you. Like, what? Wait, wait do you love me? Do you hate me? My ex-boyfriend, same thing. He would be like, you're the love of my life. And he was an actor, so I'm always like, he was like a robot. I sort of got like, you're the love of my life. I love you so much. And, you know, I would die for you. Literal words he said, not only to me, in front of other people. And then he would, if I said something that pissed him off, and it would be the stupidest shit. One time, this is one of many, he threw the dinner plates on the ground because he was so mad at the stupidest shit that I ever said from one thing to the other. And they keep you, again, on that roller coaster of ups and downs, ups and downs. It's exhausting, you guys. We can't let the past get in the way of our present, right? Easier said than done, absolutely. I still have a fear of not knowing someone and thinking they're one way and then they're the other. And that's what happens when you're in a narcissistic abusive relationship because the love bombing presents the nice Joe, let's say, right? That's nice Joe. And then as soon as they got you or they think they got you, they start doing the roller coaster of abuse, right? Ups and downs, ups and downs. And so that is something that just, I felt like it was from one day to the other, they just changed. It's ignoring boundaries. Oh, yes, they do. Narcs test or ignore your limits. Like they will read your texts. They follow you. And not necessarily like stalk you, but sometimes they will do it where it looks normal. If you set boundaries, that will lead to arguments and anger. 